Okay, what the fuck is this? This video is Well boys, that's warm up. I raid Let's watch this. Legends. Never ever bullshit. Business is important. Business is professional. Business is a word I still can't write till this day, bro. Business. business is the engine in because the car. business business b-u-i but it's called busyness fucking bullshit language that drives us forward to our journey there is no is this a video where he talks shit about raid shadow legends that would be very bad because i used to I do commercials for them in business welcome to the seminar serious business 101 it's important for First all of us slide please it's August 6th, 2013, and we're at a conference in Nashville, Tennessee. Agile 2013. What's Agile? Well, it's blah, 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 blah. That bit's not terribly important. What matters is that this is a very professional environment. Keynotes, panels, networking. You're fascinating to talk to. <coughs> <coughs> I still don't know. What is a keynote? Sorry, I, I actually do not know. What is a keynote? I actually don't know what that is. A keynote in public speaking speaking is a talk that establishes a main underlying theme. In corporate or commercial settings, greater importance is attached to the delivery of a keynote speech or keynote address. The keynote establishes the framework for the following program. So it's like the, the introduction in a way. And a quirky little idea. Interactive display board. Five of these based across the convention the ground. Is out. The, the, lobbies, the cafeteria. Wow, what ground. the fuck is that? And Holy shit. a brilliant innovation to go with them. And I'm gonna say it and I stand by it. Sherlock Holmes, whatever the fuck it's called, with the guy from Lord of the Rings and Benedictus Cambarumbus was a fucking trash TV show, man. And only normies like it. I said it. Automatic I said it. Twitter feed. I said it. Simply use the hashtag Agile2013 and your unmoderated message will appear on the board. It even displays images. What an amazing what? idea, you guys. And people were loving it. Giving feedback. Showing their pride. It was all going great. What is going on, sorry? For a whole 87 minutes. When one attendee had a very unprofessional idea. So they posted he something He takes weird. a photo of one of the displays and posts it to a certain message board with the following text. <laughs> Hello, B. I come to you in a time of great need. It's Five Reddit, giant man. screens. I still don't really understand Ridiculous what Reddit is, but Reddit seems to be the biggest be much pool of fucking Please, virgins of all times. Well, we'd better test this out. So people logged into Twitter, wrote something Ain't done with the bot. hashtag Agile2013. That was 4chan. It's the same. A minute it's later... A new photo comes up on the message board. Confirmation. Oh, oh, oh. So there was everyone enjoying the conference. When suddenly... Where in this convention do I find the Zimmerman themed butt plugs? My daddy never had big man talk with me. How do I make baby? I want baby. And from there, <coughs> it escalated. There's a guy having concerning sex with a dead person in the Asia toilet. You can should find me. Is there I will let you have some ass. Okay, I'm funny meme, funny meme, I guess. Well, in 2013, no one knew this would happen. It didn't take long for Agile organizers to notice. Agile Alliance does not approve of the misuse of the hashtag. And here was the fatal mistake. They thought, it's only like three trolls from Twitter. It's no problem. So they rallied their troops, telling them to fight back with the report spam function. Well, oh, that is very dumb. That is not clever. And honestly, they took it too far. They started posting increasingly reprehensible stuff on the timeline, to the point where all of the other attendees were drowned out by a deluge of horrific images. Their reporting was slow and ineffective against people making alt accounts. So with each passing minute, the is this game? they were losing more ground. A couple of agile attendees stuck their heads up over the trenches and drew targeted fire. Looks like the feed is being spammed pretty badly. Maybe time to switch hashtags. I can't be the only one reporting all these people. Why isn't it to make them go away? <laughs> Lisa fucking Lisa! With the, the white screens, power. Flailing round. Fucking I'm Lisa! Blocking, but they keep coming up. Eventually, someone from B offered it's some so useful advice. It's so funny when Have boomers don't understand the power of the internet, phone? man. How do that I was armor free, oh. Police. How do I... What? Cyber police involved. How do I contact these cyber police? 
But tragically, the cyber police never came. Report them! Stop them! cried one of the organizers. But it was no use. And soon he was targeted too, with his profile and personal pictures shopped into compromising positions. <laughs> then those shops were, of course, posted back onto the Agile hashtag. The best thing you can ever do if your company or you as a creator get ever a shitstorm like this from this Virgin website 4chan is to just ignore it. You just straight up ignore it, man. Eventually, Agile had had enough. And they surrendered, disabling the Agile 2013 hashtag. And that was the end of it. Or was it? Because it turns out there was another functioning hashtag, Agile2. And once B figured that out, they took to destroying that as well. And that really was the end of it. Okay. Or was it? Because B found the host website. They went what? straight to the source. Uploaded what, does, what does it say when he means B found? What is B? Is B like, what is B? Content directly to the displays. Okay. And that really, really was the end. The next day, the only thing on the displays was this message. It's a board on 4chan. We are working on shutting okay. down the Eventifier site. Board. We are reporting abusive accounts. We are also trying to find all other sources and shut them down as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> These poor the boomers, man. Did he mention you're fucking Lisa? You're this 50 year old woman and you have to take care of a Reddit shitstorm bullshit, whatever, on Twitter, man. That poor girl. The fell, the gay. Thank you, one pause. I don't understand what you're Very asking, though. Very unprofessional, you guys. Bro, is this Slide two, stream? please. But first... And time. Shadow Man. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you. Seven months lurking hope your good Tommy love you three. Available now on iOS and Android. He it's actually totally has a commercial of that? PvP, DVD, no, he's just acting. ADHD, Wait, don't that, take does he actually have one? He actually has it! Oh my god, he must make so much money with that. Holy shit, that's an easy $30,000 Shadow Legends. 10 million fucking views? Holy... Listen, this man made more money with this commercial than most of us do in a year. Most of you. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, My ta -da, word for it, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, here's from IGN. <laughs> uh, look how many positive reviews it has. Wow! In fact, I bought another phone with my sponsorship money so I can dual wield rain. Hey, man, Shallow man leaves. gotta pay his bills, bro. You don't have phones? Yeah, Dozens you don't of have upgradable care. Fleshed out storyline. Wait, I just go away. He'll never hear How it. Do I grow a glorious my... moustache like Fucking that. Shroud is still playing Valhalla on Twitch. What the fuck is wrong with that kid, man? How do I grow a glorious moustache like that? You do push ups. Thank you, Tackle. Red, shady shady Legends. Did but he they're... call it Shady Legends? Wait. This guy is the greatest alpha ever. He calls them Shady Legends and still. It's, he's... Wait. This is not real, right? He, wow, that guy is an alpha. He called them Shady Legend and is still sponsored by them. From Qualcomm. Mom, I've been playing for two days straight. Yeah, I got him, man. Fuck off. I use this. Even though this is the best commercial ever. That's my dialysis machine. Your phone is the only dialysis. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Jesus. This also the game. Right, where was uh. I? McDonald's. Is a business. Oh it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's all mine. In January of 2012, what the fuck still goes to McDonald's? A brilliant idea. Thank you, Marshall. Man. There you go, man. Perception with Twitter. Oh, look, it's you, Tommy. To the man with hashtag Meet the Farmers, a campaign that what? informs them that our meat only comes from local, independent producers, Bullshit. and not from, as the papers report, Bullshit. So they published this promo. And I don't think I've ever gone to work a day in my life. <laughs> And success. Hell yeah, lads. Another win as usual. People were loving it. What the fuck? What is that? Ah. They had their usual detractors, of course, but overall, good stuff. So they swapped out this hashtag with a new one. McDee's Stories. And here's where things took a turn. They wanted the Twitter public to tell their experiences at McDonald's. Oh, God. <laughs> Obviously that is very dumb. Ever happen at that McDonald's. fucking idiot, dude. This is going to be a slam dunk. Oh Let us God. shake hands in confidence at our imminent success. So McD's stories premiered on the Twitter homepage and... Uh, One time I walked to McDonald's and I could smell type 2 diabetes floating in the air and I threw up. Within five minutes it was clear that people weren't going to harp on about the time they got a free extra sauce with their McNuggets. Instead, they were going to tell 
make horror stories. A worker in my hometown had to pee, but they wouldn't let him because he was on the grill in the rush. Peed down his leg, really. Here's just a select few. A McFingernail in my fries. A woman McSoliciting McSex in the drive thru lane. That is so clever being a hooker in a drive thru. You just get the burger and she's like, you want to blow up with that? That woman, that is business. Business. One out, by the way, it's true. That's genius. My friend claims that Ronald McDonald exposed himself to her as a child. Awful. McRats in the buns. Oh, yikes, this one's real. Illuminati. Wait, look at that. Awful. Kinuminati, that's my brother's nickname. When my brother used to be younger and a gamer, this is his nickname. Kinuminati. Is that my brother? No, he doesn't speak English. Rats in the buns. Oh, yikes, this one's real too. Go back there in the bun area. You're Rats gonna... running? Yeah, it's, it sucks, you know. Uh, me and Lisa, we have a fam fa favorite Greek restaurant here in Leipzig. I, I really like it. They have... Um, Man, the, 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 the cheese is souflaki, I don't know. And we're sitting there, it's my favorite restaurant. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm getting cheese, man. And I'm looking at the wall and I see two fucking cockroaches just slowly walking up the wall, man. But what do you do there, right? I just, I kept eating, right? I, at least three a real German would fucking go, ah, I'm gonna report you, oh God, but. Make it stop, someone stop it now. But it was gaining traction. More and more people were publishing their negative stories on the hashtag. Greek food, man, Greek and food. And once they had used all those up, it progressed. Someone got shot at the McDonald's in Barberton. Yeah, I know. Best to just making up stuff uh, for shock value. McDee's. Part of the charm, kind McDonald's of. As a kid, and I'm... I ate McDonald's as a kid. I'm pretty sure this is why my father left. Pretty sure that's why my father left. Closed eye. Nope, not fact. making the joke. Nope. I, once saw her. I can't say that. <laughs> but that'll make anyone grimace. Thank this you. must be very American, though. I gotta be honest. If I go to a German McDonald's, they're actually kind of clean. There's just families in there, like, and actually not even poor families. It's like middle class family, like the boomers, because poor people can't really afford McDonald's. In Germany, they're kind of clean and stuff. I don't. They're kind of okay, oh, man. Thank you. And they pay actually well. I never forget. True story. Never forget this. I was um, in law school. I had to do one month of public service, and I was in the office that takes care of refugees. If you're a refugee, you have to come to my office. I'm the one who gives you money. Blah blah blah. Uh, also on. On that time, I was working in a supermarket, in a shitty supermarket, and I got 8 euro 10 an hour. I, a German man, got 8 euro 10 an hour for shit job. One day, uh, there was this uh, Afghani guy I had to take care of, and he was really motivated. He was like, you know, he really cared. And one day, he came to the office, to me and the, the woman that I was working with, uh, really, really happy, and he's like, Hello, hello, I have contract, I have contract, alhamdulillah. And he gives me the contract, and it's a McDonald's contract. He's gonna work for McDonald's. And I'm like, you know, I had, I had, um, how to say in English, I was, uh, uh, when you think something bad, I don't know the word, you know what I mean? I was like, McDonald's. <laughs> I open his contract, the guy makes 9 euros 60 an hour. And I'm sitting there, getting so punched in my face that, dude, I'm a German law student who sits in a shitty supermarket for 810 and this guy makes 950. And I'm not even mad. Good for him. Good for him. Dude. And that that was the moment I realized, dude, I'm not talking shit about McDonald's anymore. What the fuck? Within two hours, 950? The back in the day, that was years ago. That was like eight years ago. That was a lot 950 back in the day. Hashtag. They had a few minor trolls there too, but it quickly faded into not having obscurity. Needs. The media jumped on the story. Case studies were written. And I have a zero euro job? What? Not giving Are you a Twitch mod? No, you're not. Or were they? <laughs> He's already dead. July 1st, 2016. Create your own custom burger on this McDonald's website. Bun, meat patty, semen. Name your creation. Have it the published on the website. What then the vote fuck? on the best one and it will become an official item on the menu. Oh, that's so funny. You knew Who where won? this was going to go. Yeah. I knew where this was going to go. How did McDonald's not? <laughs> Who won? A poem, if you will. <laughs> the sad European. A thin privilege to go. Bad with lettuce, <laughs> no tissues. Mein Kampf. <laughs> mein Kampf! <laughs> Submitted by Tyrone! <laughs> Just so. The atheist delight. With a what? side of fries. The toddler body bag. With double ketchup surprise. Pepe the sandwich. A rectal prolapse, half baked. Pound my behind daddy comes with a shake. Girth. 
<laughs> the area, a vision of Christ. A whole pineapple with your meal for ten times the price. A tip for my lady. This one's <laughs> a tip free. for my lady. It's still not too late to vote for Bernie. Bernie socialist. Whopper, no onions. Anatomical sandwich. Ugh. Just, just grow up, you guys. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to shower off. Ron's creamy surprise. Oh. Who won? See this? This is you, you fucking clown. I mean, yeah. Naturally, the press seized on it as much as the general public did, laughing at all the dumb sandwiches while also condemning them. Guys, come on, guys, this isn't funny. Come on. The website was shut Thank down. You, Josie, man. Thank you, Josie, man. Thank you. Except for these. Hillary's and America. I found, which has a bunch of other sandwich names. What ingredients were involved and what they look like, though, you'll have to use your imagination. Next slide, please. Prophylactics a serious business. Let us shake hands in both a fun and safe oh, manner. Oh, I see this one is ribbed for my pleasure. Early 2013, Jurex launches a revolutionary new app. SOS condoms. Download, select the product, enter your location, and a condom will be delivered to you within an hour. What? That exists? Don't worry about that chat. I mean, you're watching Tommy K on Twitch. You don't need condoms, oh, but God, man, that's it. Their emphasis was on discretion and anonymity when delivering the goods. And the delivery drivers were in disguise. Pizza delivery guy. Oh, they officer. were in disguise. Sure that's legal. A gimmick to be sure. And some people thought it was an out of season April Fool's joke. That guy's a genius. Uh, they're probably going to meme these guys. Oh, these poor people, man. They just want to bring you a condom and you're memeing them. Really worked. So they rolled the service out. Well, I will I will order one to a Catholic church. Over the tip of Dubai, of all places. But after its first week, the government shut it down, citing it as promoting promiscuity. What is promiscuity? What does that mean? Promiscuity. What is that? Booted out, they had a tough time deciding where to launch next. Sexiness. Guys, Lots guys, of sexy. Let's let the audience decide with another Very online sexual, okay. Poll. Oh, for fuck's sake. So people jumped on the website and started voting. I will be voting for a Krispy Kreme donut place. Tens of thousands of votes were counted, with some of the major contenders being Paris, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and London. From South Africa to move away from this. But all of them were outshined, <laughs> with the most votes counted for <coughs> Batman. A small Batman is a, uh, yeah, it's a city, city in Turkey. In Turkey. Let that be. An object lesson in the dangers of tampering with the laws of Mother Nature. Actually, that's Kurdistan, okay? Just, oh, I'm an the dummy! dummy uh. Another marketing campaign to add to the KD ratio. A Facebook post went out from SOS Condoms. Congratulations. Imagine, you guys remember Facebook stay posts? Tuned for more to come. But there was no more to come, so to speak. The campaign was promptly stopped. SOS Condoms never opened in Batman. SOS condoms never condoms are so overrated, you know, again. just they went silent for months. Everyone just moved pull on. Out. SOS condoms deleted their account. Oh, and slipped forever away into obscurity. Right. Thank you, Kaiser. That's my bro. Thank pizza you. Pizza is serious business. Pizza? DiGiorno does frozen pizza and they have a substantial social media presence. DiGiorno? Can, I don't know that. Is bad. What? Bold statements only on this channel. Well, Twitter had a hashtag for National Domestic Violence Awareness Day. People were sharing their harrowing stories with the hashtag, Why I Stayed. These were all quite serious and dealt with some delicate and sensitive issues. Then here comes DiGiorno, throwing on the accelerator, no fucks given, driving right through the front door. They had pizza. Ooh. I, I kind of, it's kind of ballsy. I kind of, I kind of like it. Hee <laughs> hee that was a great tweet. Yeah. I bet everyone's loving it. Precisely 0.1 seconds after they posted it, they must have realized it wasn't the wisest move. And they apologized, but the media got involved. <laughs> so they kept Always the fucking media, man. They couldn't I'm sorry. stop. I'm sorry. Is there any fake I'm news? Sorry. One sec. Every time I go left on my phone, I get Google News, and they're so fake. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ubisoft apologizes for ableistic wording. <sighs> 
copyright strike with Twitch streamers are protesting for this video. Click here to see this video. Uh, China is not letting Alibaba go on the stock market. What? What else? Blah, blah, blah. Fake news. Blah, blah, blah. blah. I can't read this shit. Click here to find out why this billiard, uh, uh, billionaire made money. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Sorry. They I was just basing off for a second. Again. Kip, I'm so sorry. Ed, it was terrible. They, I couldn't be more sorry. Ed, please it. accept my deepest Dude, apologies. Relax. I am so sorry. Naming your baby is serious business. Put it to the internet, this Canadian couple said. Trust in the kindness and sensibility of strangers. It was Cthulhu Allspark. That's Next. pretty good. Do you know what wait, what's the rest? What's the rest? What's the rest? The internet, wait, wait, wait. Megatron? Couple said, Trust Cthulhu is a good name. And sensibility of strangers. Wait, wait, wait. Cthul Amelia and Charlotte? Hey, not that bad. Zelda, Luna? Not bad. Cthulhu of the Sea. Old Spark. Old Spark. Oh, that must have been when uh, that movie Next. came out. Do you know what kerning is? It's important in print. It's essentially the proportional spacing between fonts. Why does it matter? Well, sometimes two letters close to each other can look like a single letter, oh, for God's sake. All right, stop. In a dick. Let me finish up with a little bit of a behind the meme style history lesson. In the early 2010s, brands were only just finding their foothold in social media. They didn't quite understand how to connect with their audience. The tendency was to be a bit overly formal, stuffy, not quite fun. That is until Denny's came along. Denny's, uh, this is all American stuff. I don't know any of this. They started actually. I don't know any time. of this shit, man. And it appealed Fucking to Americans. fellow Zoomers. The more I watch American so news lately and TV shows, while, I realize your country is a fertile country, man. Soon, other the strategy. Arby's started posting memes. Wendy's dropped a mixtape. And then when it's the clever, WWE star <coughs> feud back and forth with Burger King and McDonald's, and Gen Zers, such as myself lapped it up How do you do, fellow kids? now that's not to say they all figured it out flavored too, cola. but without committing fully they failed to get the same appeal so into the late 20 teens things were going pretty great it was a little content renaissance chick-fil-a is officially america's favorite fast food restaurant Imagine what is a chick-fil-a i've never what a dude we europeans we don't know what the fuck this bullshit is Show me what you can buy there. What is this stuff? Chick fil A. No, you don't. No. Show me what you have. The next one is in Howell Mill, 5,800 miles away. Show me. Oh, so they have burgers. There's nothing on this burger. It's just this. Oh, they have the calories here. Okay, it's just burgers. It's, it's chicken. I mean, it looks good. What else do you have? Entries, salads. Look at American salads. Look at an American salad. It's full of meat. Look at that American salad. Kids meal? Oh, with some fruit? Oh, oh treats. Oh, that looks very... Oh. Dipping dam. Polynesian. God damn, you're Americans, man. No wonder you're all so fat. Had to give that that looks really good, actually. A chance to make money. Your mom is a hoe. They didn't Stay do that. I don't believe that. The whole phenomenon on Twitter and in articles, and I'd like to turn that into a full video soon. <laughs> Your mom is a hoe. With all these relatable memes floating around, what is that? People were starting to feel a little pandered to. <laughs> Very relatable. Yes. Nice. That's that's relatable. Yes. Yep, relatable. Pussy. Mm. Appreciate relatable. the good content. By the way, okay. do you know when is the Minecraft so server is King Arnold, I thank you for the 10 fucking dollars, man. I appreciate it very much. I actually do not know. I do not know. And thank you, Krasenas. Thank you. I do not know. I'm sorry. But soonish. They're, they're working on some really big thing, man. They're building like the old MMO world or some shit. And so a new meme was born. This video lost me. Let's play with Warcraft. The video lost me. I'm not paying attention more. Gentlemen, that was the woman.